is Tanolo Falemana. I am from Carson, California. And my villages back home are in Pongo Pongo and Leonge, American Samoa, and Konga Fua Fua in Western Samoa. So American Song Contest, is, is it consisted of 56 contestants, five, six being territories, like Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, American Samoa, Guam, Saipan, um, and so it's super cool that we're a territory that's able to get recognized for one. And then, um, yeah, then obviously in 50 states, Hawaii, then you have everyone. And what you do is you, it's a, you write your own original music. You have a lot of creative control, which is really, really cool about this show. Um, you're able to um, creatively direct with the creative director for NBC, who also works on the Grammys. So you get to just work with people that this is their profession, you know? And so it's really cool to be at this level of doing it here. So um, yeah, and so now there's uh, 15 contestants. Uh, and then after this 15, five get voted in, and then it'll be 10 for the finale and one winner. And so, yeah, it's just really amazing. I believe it's only me and Puerto Rico for the territories that are representing us. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up against like Alan Stone, a couple of the vocalists from uh, The Voice. Um, you, we had Cisco, Michael Bolton. I'm gonna be singing with Michael Bolton to tomorrow. You know, it's about 10 p.m. here. Look, there must be something. It's 10, my name's 10. Hi guys. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, so pretty much it's based on votes. So we need votes. Um, and I know that we can't vote, vote in um, New Zealand or Australia, um, but however, all of us have family in the States, family and friends who can see and then hop a lot. You know what I mean? Just pray. Even if you don't have the energy to vote, just pray, just shoot a prayer. You know what I mean? Just shoot a prayer. Um, because in all honesty, it, it's just really cool to be able to represent like you know we're representing Polynesia you know so it's, it's just really cool to be be here and get the love that I've been getting so yeah that's pretty much the show and it airs on Mondays um which I don't you'd have to check your local listings in New Zealand to know what days that those show but yeah it's pretty cool so the opportunity came about um through a friend that I, cause I, I auditioned for The Voice before. And so I auditioned for The Voice and I didn't make it. But um, the producers were like, why did, why wouldn't she make it, you know? And so they honestly, I just always kind of check in with them. Like, hey, how you doing? With like all my friends, I always do that. That's like Tanel, that's a Tanel in me, you know? Like, hey, what are you, how you guys been? But you know, it was, it was the beginning of, um, it was the end of the year, actually. I just got back from tour, and I, I don't know. I just got a feeling, like, just text this guy named Luke, like, see how he's doing. And he's like, I have this opportunity for you. And I'm like, what opportunity? He's like, we're working on this show, and it's called American Song Contest. It's a spin off of Eurovision. And so I'm like, whoa, Eurovision, like, that's huge, you know? So where would I be, you know, representing? And she, he said, well, because, you know, I'm back and forth to Hawaii. And, and New Zealand, though, you know, I'm a resident in New Zealand too, you know? Um, but he's like, we would love for you to represent Hawaii. And I was like, okay, okay. And I'm and me, I'm like, okay, but you just said 50 states and six territories. And to be disrespectful, I'm not Hawaiian. I'm Samoan and American Samoa is a territory. And if I have this opportunity, then can I represent American Samoa, you know? And they were like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Can you help us find someone for Hawaii, for Guam? So I was able to submit names, you know, um, to Guam and and, um, and Hawaii as well. But and yeah, it's just so cool. Like that's how, that's pretty much how it happened. Yeah, you know, that's what it's all about. So yeah, Jason Jay was able to go through and represent a Guam, you know, we're, we're representing entire cultures, of, a culture of people, like who we are, lineages before us and after us, you know? And so to be able to perform on the big, this big platform, like I've never been on national TV my whole life, like my whole life, you know? And it's like, 
It's pretty surreal. Like they take care of me. I'm here at the hotel now, quarantine. I can't really go anywhere. I can only go up to 10 miles, which only 10 miles is like a McDonald's, a Del Taco, and 24 hour fitness stall. There's my route. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's, 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 it's just really cool to be here. No, so you sing the same song. So it's a battle of the song, which I wish they would have gave us a little challenge. Like you got 24 hours to write a song, but no. So it's the same song, the song that I wrote is called Full Circle. And I wrote it um, cause I was stressing, I'm not gonna lie. But I got this opportunity that like, you know, one song, one chance. I'm like, I got one song. You know, I have one song to show the world who we are as people and some, you know, us some ones, you know, right? Says it's someone more, more little to us. You know, that's who we are, you know, so God first, always. So I started praying. And so I started praying, um, just to, here's to the ones that we got and blessed by the ones that we've lost. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was, it was that, it was me writing with my uncle Trent, Poesia, um, from uh, Baby Down, from um, the G Raj, you know, and, it was just that, it, and it just, it just was everything, you know, it was a full circle, me working back with my uncle that I wrote my first song, Holy People, you know? Oh my gosh, Snoop Dogg's like an uncle. He like literally loves my family. He didn't even go to any of the other of the other booths, you know, cause my dad was like, he's a big shoulder, you know? So he came straight to my dad and he's just like, what's up, oops, you know? It's just like, cause he's from Long Beach. My dad's from Carson, California. And it was just like, so cool. Like he was talking to my sister, talking to my mom. And he was like, yeah, really, really cool. I feel very confident going into the finals. I really, truly do. Um, I know that the song that I that I prayed for, that God gave us, um, I, I already feel like a winner, um, just having this opportunity. You know, being able to just talk to you about this is like reality. Like when I hear myself talk about it, it's like, dang, that's really happening, you know? And so I feel like I already won. I feel strong that we could win this together, but it's a number game. So it, it's it's all it's all votes. Everything is voting. And so that's what makes it like cool. Cause I just really see like our people, like we were number one in the voting for the last time. It was like 15 people, I forget. But it was like, we were number one in the voting. Under the jury's decision, we were number one that they called. And so when I heard that, it was just like, Oh my gosh, me. Cause you know, it's politics. Everything's politics. And we don't know what's going on, but I know that God has our back. God has Samoa, God has Pacifica and God, like this has never happened. Like how it happens in New Zealand, you know, like we don't have the Polynesian influence here in the States. I can go to New Zealand and Hawaii and all over the Pacific. And this is just my story, but I can go everywhere else, but where I was born and raised and I can sell out there, but here in Los Angeles, I can't. But so it's really cool to represent American Samoa because all of the interviews we've been having, you know, they've never seen uh, such old foods like how I wear, you know, like they never seen a, a ulanifo before. They never seen, um, they've never seen a, a lepo'o or a haku, you know, they've never seen any of that. So everything that's like, whoa, whoa, it's like the most, is we love our culture, you know? And so in every way I, I am, I'm showing my culture, which Afa Alu flew, flew out from Utah and did my dress in 10 hours, which is gonna be the look that I wear tomorrow. And I I'm have a fala, I have a, there's a piece on the side of my dress that's like a fala and a, it's made of top up. And the fala is the exact fala that was laid underneath all of my aunties and my uncles and my cousins under their casket. So it carries that mana, you know? And so I know tomorrow's gonna be a pretty emotional day. Um, and even tonight, like I definitely can't sleep right now because I'm just like, so like, I've never had anxiety or been anxious or that feeling, you know? 
but for you guys that have anxiety, like I feel what you feel right now, you know? Yeah, but it feels good. It feels good to be like on edge. Like, you know, like I want to win, but I'm, I just, you know, praying for just, just got to open the doors and close the door. And I feel like the doors are opening like in a big way. Like I really have a huge feeling we're going to make it to finale. But we need everybody to win this whole entire competition. Because we're going up against like Alan Stone, Michael Bolton, Cisco Macy Gray, and um, I forget who else, but they're out now. But like I went into battle with, with Cisco and we won, you know? <laughs> like, it's just like, wait, what? And he said, congratulations, you know? And I'm like, thank you. And I want to sing, even though it seems I have everything, you know? And I'm like, this is freaking wild. I love Poetic. Poetic is like my dog. I love how he spits from the heart. Okay, but a favorite song, I'm gonna have to say our song because our song is amazing. Um, I love Victor Seffo. Like him and my song Shots is probably like one of my favorite songs I ever wrote. Um, I don't know, I was just flowing that day. You know, it was just, it felt so good. And we, me and my family, we all still bump that song. You know, the pregame, before the game. <laughs> um, Swiss, um, freaking, Everybody, oh my gosh, Stan Walker right now is probably like up there though. Like, I never met him, but Stan Walker, if you hear this, I'm like a huge fan of you, bro. Like, a really, really huge fan. But I listened to his Motown um, EP that came or the album that came out like a, a long time ago, like a, a month, a year ago. Oh my gosh, that's the one. Bless by the ones that we love.